One of the best features of your Matterport Digital Twin is the fact that you can take measurements. Because your Digital Twin is a true 3D representation of the space, you can use it to take measurements at any time. This can be helpful in countless situations. Let me go ahead and walk you through the measurement mode right now. Before we dive into how to use the measurement mode, I just wanted to show you the account level settings. So the first thing is if you go up to your account and hit settings, then choose manage and scroll all the way down, you'll see the measurement mode right here. So first you can see that it is turned on for all the digital twins in your account. The new measurement mode allows you as an administrator or collaborator of the digital twin to also use Showcase Edit or a Workshop to create your own measurements as you've always been able to, but now you can share those measurements with your visitors. By default, the option is to have this feature enabled for every digital twin uploaded to your account from the time you activated this feature going forward. I'm gonna leave these settings as is and we'll go back to the model page to see how you can set up this feature specifically for this model. On the model page, you are on the edit mode here. And if I go to the gear icon or settings down here, I can choose advanced and I have the measurement mode option right here. These are the default settings. And as you can see, the measurement mode is turned on by default. So again, I would recommend just leaving it like that. And also by default, you can see in the drop down here, any measurement that I capture using showcase edit or workshop will be visible to the visitors of my digital twin. So I'm just gonna leave everything as is, the account settings as well as the model settings, and let's just go ahead and see how to use this measurements mode. You'll notice looking around this room that you don't see any measurements just yet. The only time you can see the measurements that you've already captured is by going into the measurements tool itself. You can see that as soon as I click the measurements tool, previously captured measurements are easily visible. When I click the add measurement button up here, I get something new that we call a scope and you can see that it's kind of a magnified view of what it is you're measuring. You'll also notice that the crosshairs will snap to corners and edges of surfaces. This makes it really easy to quickly measure from one point to another. So I'm going to start by measuring from the floor down here and going up to this corner. I'll click once and a second measurement line begins. This is something new that has not happened before. If I want to stop my measurement right now, I can just come down here to the green check mark. But in this case, I want to go ahead and continue over here and then tap there. Again, another measurement line is going to uh, start, but I'll go ahead and press the green check at this point to stop that. So I have these two measurements captured. If I want to delete the measurement that I just captured, I can just go ahead and tap on it and use the trash can icon down here to delete. Now, if you don't like the snapping to corners and edges or the continuous measurement lines, these are settings that you can change up here in this settings button. If I click the button, you can see that snapping and continuous lines are turned on by default. Also, you'll notice that I can change my units of measurement right here from imperial to metric. Now that covers measuring inside of Showcase Edit or a workshop. But what about visitors that come to your digital twin and want to take measurements themselves? When you're inside the preview mode, you can see down here is a new icon called measurements. And as a visitor to this digital twin, once you click that, again, you go into this measurement mode and you can see all the previously captured measurements that you have captured in workshop or Showcase Edit. As a visitor, I can press the plus sign down here to add my own measurements. Same as before, I can click and drag to move around and you see the magnifying scope view. I can place the crosshairs where I want to start my measurement. Click again and click a third time to finish off my measurements. Again, just as before with the measurement tool inside Showcase Edit, a new measurement line is drawn, but I can come down here to the green check and press that to end my measurements. Here too, I can come up to the settings option and change snapping and continuous lines from their default on setting. Once I'm all done capturing the measurements that I need, I can just go ahead and hit escape on my keyboard or the X in the top right corner to close out of this mode. Now you'll notice that all the measurements did disappear. However, 
If I go back into the measurements mode here, even the measurements that I've captured as a visitor remain for now. If I, however, refresh this page, those measurements will disappear, of course, but the measurements that were captured over here using Showcase Edit or Workshop will remain even after refreshing the page. There are a couple more advanced features that require the Option or Alt key on your keyboard and the Shift key. So let's go ahead and take a look at those real quick. If you have the snapping function enabled as we previously saw up here, but you do want it only temporarily disabled for this one measurement, you can do that by using the Option or Alt key on your keyboard. I'll press the plus or add button down here to create a new measurement. As you can see, it snaps to what it sees as being a corner of this couch. But if I don't want it to snap right there, I can hold down the Option or Alt key on my keyboard and the snap gets released. So now I can move this around anywhere I want. I'll go ahead and click right here to begin my measurement and draw it out to the other side of this couch. Hit it again to finish the measurement. And then I come down here to the green check or I can press escape on the keyboard to just stop measuring the second line. Now if I want to draw a measurement line from the floor to the ceiling, I can use the shift key to stick the line so it's perfectly perpendicular to the surface on which I first started measuring. So I'll go ahead and click the add measurement button here, come here to the floor, just click once. I can zoom out to get a better view of this and click and drag to see the ceiling here. And if I hold down the shift key, you'll see that a green line is created and it goes all the way up to the surface there. And you can see the green line in the scope as I get closer to the end of that green line, which is right at the ceiling mark, and then click. So that is my ceiling height. Again, because I have the continuous measurement activated, it uh, starts a new line, but I'm just going to come down here to the green check mark. Again, I can also use the escape key on my keyboard, and that is the height of this ceiling. I really hope that helps better explain the measurements mode. You'll notice in this model in the bottom right corner is that measurements mode icon we were just talking about. Go ahead and use that icon to familiarize yourself with this mode at any time.